Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. Been a few weeks since we've uh, started a Daily Mirror Dungeon from this screen, and that's because there sure is. Oh yeah, I got refunded for Heath of Vines. Uh, cool. All right. Um, that's because new banner, Butler Ryoshi, Butler Ishmael, pretty funny seeming. Uh, in case you're wondering, they're refunding the cost for uh, Heathcliff Binds in case you don't want it after all. I'm just going to thread spin it back up real quick because I do want it because I still really like it. It's going to work a lot more logically now. That's for sure. There you go. Though. Cool. They just, I think they re they fit it, yeah, 100% of the resulting point value on hit as Bendy slash tactics of the damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A little bit of a nerf, just kind of how damage multiplication works, potentially? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how big of a nerf that is. But enough of that. Um, We've got the new IDs to look at. Butler Ishmael, Butler Ryoshu. As per um usual, start with the daily polls. Do we get anything? Turk, Turk, and Heathcliff. Very nice. If you still haven't uh, beaten... If you still haven't beaten Canto 6 and you want a decent Heathcliff ID... Most of his three stars are good enough. I mean, Rabbit is really bad for main story stuff, but otherwise, you know, the other three stars are good for main story stuff. Especially Sean Share for like the first chunk, but anyone works well enough. Not getting too much there, but that's fine. But yeah. Assuming we do not get, you know, a lucky Ishmael here. Yeah, okay. We'll do ten folds until we get Ishmael, and then we will just shard Yoshi if we have not gotten her by that point. We've got some tickets, so that's convenient. Okay, only one two-star. Additional, though. There she is. Some dust left here. Remember, our master has respiratory issues, so... No, I'll do it myself. Cool. And just take everything else to a bunch of shards. That's nice. Uh... Yep. I'll save the rest of those, and... I will get a bunch of reissue shards. I don't think I've got, like very many right now. I've got some, but I should probably just do, like, a 220 into reissue. Something like that, just to make sure I'll be able to get bring her to Optai. Will that be enough? It looks like it. Is it 100? Is it 90? Something like that. I don't remember, so I'm just gonna... Alright. And now we're doing Ishmael like nothing, right? Yeah, literally none for Ishmael. Cool. I'll put, like, 50 under then. Might as well. We're going to want it, but yeah, both of these new ID. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I almost forgot I actually need to shard you. Right. Oh, I didn't... I didn't mean to click there. Uh, that's fine. We will play that again. There we go, speedy. Because of a butler, I'll demonstrate. So, okay, you you could have read that probably. Uh, sh yeah, both new ideas. Let's take a look at the funny phrases and stuff. Bradley is per that blank order, but of course, I am a confident blank. Foolish master butler. I for that foolish master's orders. That's a silly one. I'll roll with what I'm still using, of course. Yeah, the new IDs. Uh, I did not build my team before, and I know what I'm going to be using, but... Look at that, though. Ninth ID for Ishmael. I believe it's your eighth ID. We've got a couple people with nine IDs at this point. You know, you, uh... You... You... You aren't quite there yet, but... You know what I mean. Enough of that. Let's take a look at... You. How am I doing on level tickets? Hmm... Decently. Let's actually get Ryoshi up first. I want to make sure we get Ryoshi to 40 and then I'll put everything else. Uh, definitely don't want to get you to 45 since that doesn't help us right here, right? So we'll just roll with that. And yeah, we'll definitely have enough to get Ishmael high too. So that's good. I should probably just equip them, shouldn't I? Yeah. We are going to be using them after all, but yeah, we can just throw on like... Okay, close enough. I don't know the actual number of how many you need an average. 92. 92 level 3 tickets, how much you need to get someone to 40. Cool! We now know. 
But, um, yeah, let us update you first and see your funny story. Let's see what it does. What it does, what it says, what the story says. Don't really know what the update stories are going to be about. I mean, just very. I guess it's about the Edgar Manor. Makes sense. We know, like, nothing of the Edgar Manor because it doesn't actually show up at all in the main story, unless you count, you know, that one little cutscene at the start of the third part where you see, you know, Ishmael, or no, not Ishmael, Heathcliff and Kathy, uh, outside of it, but you don't even see the manor itself. The Edgar Manor, wreathed in the ambient sunlight, is full of sounds of brooms and butler boots moving about its premises. Butlers of the Edgar family are busy with their last-minute deep cleaning of the manor before the woven hunt. Brooms brushing against the floor, dishes clattering against one another, loud, bustling footsteps, yeah, more much into the woven hunt. Something that really does not show up in the main story because it is all about, uh, well, it's all about Earl King Heathcliff in particular. The child is quietly and impassively dusting the window frames amidst the clamor. Come on, let's try not to neglect these out of the way corners. The child would normally have quietly taken care of it herself without telling anyone, but... Now that they're all busily preparing for the hunt, she decided to give them a warning to avoid drawing the ire of her master, or the chief butler. It may have sounded a tad nosy, but it was her own way of caring for the other butlers. Even a pinch of dust particles could be dangerous for a master, you know. So sorry, I'll be more careful from now on. Come on, the hunt's coming up, so let's keep ourselves in tip-top shape, alright? Of course, she wasn't just worried for her fellow butlers. It was clear from the way she spoke that she cared terribly for her master. Perhaps that was an obvious outcome. The child used to be a fixer drifting through the back streets, and she wandered for a long, long time, unable to find her purpose in life. Very interesting. Yeah, because a lot of the uptides, or, or no, a lot of the identities don't really go into the backstories of the sinners in that world. But assumably, it's fairly similar for a lot of them. Like, every Heathcliff probably comes from... I guess it's not necessarily similar, but it didn't go into, like, the sewer deep actors. But yeah, this is like, Ishmael's from the back streets instead of being... I mean, Ishmael probably was from the back streets either way, but she just worked her way into the nest. We don't know for sure about normal Ishmael. The Edgar family took her in, gave her a roof over her head, and gave her a definitive pur definite purpose to live for. Perhaps that is why... The child does not tell the chief butler whenever the other child, her master, indulges in alcoholic drink. That is why the child does not even dare open the window when her master is home, for fear of letting chill winds into the manor. Her devotion to her master almost appears like a blind of. You're not funny. This isn't even, like, clever at all. You think master would have been less ill had he not been hunting for the wolf? I doubt it. Master had already lost his arm and missed Isabella even before the hunt started. Yeah, but... It is, okay, it's, it's definitely interesting that it's still Isabella in the Mirror World. I guess that's the kind of thing that really doesn't get addressed a lot, but of the non-sinners, like, are they usually the same in Mirror Worlds? Because it definitely seems like that's the case here, if Isabella is herself, because we weren't getting Isabella ID, she's just a random person, pretty much, she probably couldn't fight. We don't, I mean, we don't know. She just kind of died, not exactly off-screen, but might as well have died off-screen in the canon, though. Besides, it doesn't matter whether our master gives up his hunt or not, because that wolf won't. He won't stop until he's taken everything that our master has. Oh, speaking of which, wasn't there someone that wolf loved? Uh, um... Huh? Love? What are you talking... Okay. Canto 6. Canto 6 ending spoilers, I think. Uh, what was it again? Ugh, it's nothing. Sorry, I have no idea where that came from. There was a large hole where that child once stood. The child who was likely the cause of all this misery. The child grew puzzled as she suddenly felt the fog of memory from this casual conversation. 
I guess that is true. None of the actual IDs we've gotten have mentioned Kathy at all, so they can just stick with that, huh? But she ignored this odd sense of deja vu. It would be much more reasonable for her to focus on the hunt rather than to get hung up on such details. Is it already time? The sun hangs over the horizon. Terrible wailings of those pulled from the other side begin to echo from nearby. The great rumbling begins to intensify within the halls of the manor. Past the window where the forces of the dead, wreathed under the orange light of the eventide, swarming up to the manor, toward the manor. Even as I remain awake, does that endless nightmare seek to claim me? They're nothing but weaklings. An advance party. I see. The wolf caught wind of our hunt, I suppose. Yeah, I guess Wild Hunt's going on here, too. The other child, her master, draws his saber and readies himself. But the child shakes her head. Master, Lady Ryoshu, leave them to me. D.B.S. Me and the spool of a master can take them out in the blink of an eye. The child waits until the warm light of eventide, the color of her hair, reflects off the floorboards of the manor hallway. She looks into the eyes of the chief butler and her master. Yeah, that hair really cannot be very efficient for, like, cleaning, right? I mean, her hair is probably as much of a broom as her own broom. The two of you have a wolf to hunt. Don't let the dead waste your energy. Perhaps the two believe that this child's words had merit. Her master lowers his saber. The chief butler grumbles for a moment before sheathing her knives and crossing her arm. Only then does the child pull an oddly engraved broom and a sharp knife from the dimensional attached to case attached to all this. Okay, so it's a dimensional case, similar to like Ezra's bag, stuff like that. And I say similar to Ezra's bag and not, you know, the Gloves of the Black Silence, because the Gloves of the Black Silence are very different in the fact that you don't need to physically open something, they can just be materialized. Right? It's, it's a sample of singularity, but, like, different levels of, like, effectiveness, right? I mean, we don't know if it's singularity, per se, but it seems like one. Hunting cutlery is at the ready. Shh. Don't get yourself killed like an idiot. The child lives up to her confidence. The well-sharpened knife cuts through the army of the dead, like butter. And the generations-old broom of the Edgar family butlers keeps her enemies at bay. The broom that does slash damage. He rooted the forces of the dead with every knife throw and broom swing, handily knocking them down like she was dusting a particularly stubborn corner. The advanced force that assailed the manor is already looking rather thin. The intense light of the sunset shines through the windows still. Doesn't seem like housekeeping will cause them to run late to the hunt. Cool. Yeah, very interesting. Kind of confirms that they're doing more Kathy shenanigans here. We'll up you again, that's for sure. Here, it's only 30, okay. I don't know why I think it's... I always get it mixed up with the Ego, because the Ego takes so many shards compared to, you know, identities. That's fine, we can just thread the rest of the Ishmael's shards. Okay, let's see. Because your poison sinking haste... A uh, little bit of slash reserve is still 3. Then you can speed effect on the targets. 4 to 6 speed, but you build up haste with... Most of your attacks, it seems. That one isn't haste, but still similar. The poise count. Okay, so it's poise count neutral. This one's also poise count neutral. This one isn't. Quickly hits against target with slower speed in this unit. It's like one additional potency from negative effects of the skills you can't return. Yeah, that's pretty good because it means that the one slash fragility is going to become two slash fragility instead. Sanjay, the three times return is a little unfortunate, but uh, that's a cool. It's only one, which is unfortunate, but. It's something, right? Yeah, I don't know. Your poise, your haste. I mean, at least your your rolls are decent. I was about to say it's like a Mariachi Sinclair type deal, but that is a very bad comparison. Um, because this unit is probably better than Mariachi Sinclair. But I mean, in the sense that it kind of seems to be focusing on all these stuff not near enough. Three singing count means this is a singing count neutral skill. You know, with the actual thinking on the skill two, skill three, with uh. Because of the manner it is thinking count positive potentially if you get lucky and you will get lucky most likely it's not most hard to roll yeah the poise seems kind of middling yeah, you can't really maintain it very well 
Six boys on skill three also means this is probably the kind of unit that's not supposed to maintain boys count. She's supposed to get her crits and then just be out of boys count, it seems. I don't know. Hard to say. These two being, you know, boys neutral, quote unquote, because you lose one boys count every turn. Love to see. I do like units that have a strange combination of status. Because boys sinking, the only other unit with boys sinking is Mariachi Sinclair, as I mentioned before. And, you know, evade heals SP once per turn. That's not bad. Could be nice to go for, you know, early or something. Yeah. Not fully sure on this unit yet. We'll have to test her out a little bit, but she kind of doesn't seem to lean into anything strong enough to be too good, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, we already leveled you up. Let's see your up history next, shall we? I'll need to get a little bit more thread to get your threads been for this one. So time for an end to this Heathcliff, because you're my housekeeping sword to care of. Very fitting line, because uh, you can see Heathcliff shadow there. I'll show it a little closer when we get the actual uh, CG in the cutscene. But it's very wacky. Clack, clack. You there, third from the right. Yes, the one who just wiped the windowsill. Yes, ma'am! Look at where the frames meet. Both residue. Remember, no second chances. <laughs> oh, it's like, ma'am! Clack, clack again. You there. Yes, the new hire from 23 days ago. Do you not see what's wrong with your brooch? I suppose it'll look proper once I sink. Is that what you want? The brooch? I mean, is the brooch supposed to be something like that? Like the little symbol there? I did notice that. It's very ornate. That might just be like the Linton family crest or something, right? Although it seems like it's only you wearing it. I don't remember. Does Gregor? Gregor might have had a funny thing on him, too. It looked similar. I don't remember. I might be lying to myself. No, no. <laughs> I'll wear it right, ma'am. The child pays no mind to the fearful voices. She leaves nothing behind but the sound of her low-heeled boots clacking against the wooden flooring. There's less than a day to go until the wolven hunt begins. This artwork keeps on free- like... She- it, this doesn't look like Ryoshu to me. I don't know, it's just- it's the facial expression and the hair being super different. It looks nothing like Ryoshu to me. It keeps on just throwing me off, right? Less than a day to go until the wolven hunt begins. Thus begins the morning of the chief butler. She was never too nice to her subordinates to begin with, but... Clearly, she was much more on edge than usual, and that was clear in her attitude. Lady Ryoshu. What? Another child, one of her subordinates, walked up behind the chief butler. Her expression is grim. She's obviously gearing up to bring up a rather serious subject. The other butlers are... Rather anxious. They're saying that you are quite different from your usual self. That the upcoming... Quite different from my usual self. Me. This is not to say that you normally do a sloppy job of overseeing our work. But you're much less lax than usual as of late. Huh. B.S. I would never let such imperfections slide. Certainly. But usually you often took it upon yourself to take care of such imperfections. Because ordering someone else to do it for you was too bothersome. The child was quite self-aware of her own behavior. In fact, this newfound attitude was a deliberate one. I'll keep my guard up. I won't weigh you down once the hunt begins. Hmm. I don't appreciate you trying to read me. The child sighs as she leaves the hallway. Something didn't go according to plan. She was merely trying to keep everyone on edge so that... When the wolf would inevitably come to besiege the manor... They could at least save their own skin. But her uncharacteristic actions were immediately obvious to those around her. Right. I suppose I'll stick to what I'm good at. Because. I'm the best there is at housekeeping. Yeah, you can see Earl King, he's the shadow right here. You can see, like, the hair there, you know, like, the shoulders. So, you know, he's actively fighting them right now. Very funny. Real good. Sooner or later, right? I guess you can also see the inside of one of the cases. It's said something them being dimensional, but that doesn't look very dimensional to me. I guess it is for the sake of the broom, though, right? Maybe it's, like, only partial dimensional. Something like that. See, maybe there's, like, a bunch more knives if they go through the knives pretty fast, right? Team Nebrus Knight descends. The wolf, the target of this hunt, was much more powerful than anyone had anticipated. He emerged, imposing his intimidated strength before the child and the rest of her subordinates. 
the child instinctively knew that no matter how much her subordinates mentally prepared themselves, there is no possible future in which they will survive this encounter. So she had but one choice. There never was an alternative. All of you, get out of here. Lady Ryoshu, he is beyond all of you. You and your pathetic skills won't even leave a scratch on him. There's much work to be done back at the manor. You haven't even started your morning duties, have you? Run along, get to work. The child glared at the formidable wolf before her as she slowly drew her long knife. And that was the end of discussion. She didn't have any more words to impart to her subordinates. She needed every strength she could conserve. To even have a chance at defeating this foe. R-U-D-E. Indeed. I'm making a rather unfortunate destructive entrance. The child's voice was as low and collected as it always was. Okay, I was curious. There's a purple name, so it's heat stuff, right? I hardly imagine that such an encounter would lie in our future back when I raised you. <sighs> but there was an odd shudder at the tip of the dagger she held. A little fear, or perhaps regret. I see that you now have much you must protect, Ryoshu. While I remained the same, and like always, I only see what I must maul and destroy. Hmm. The child did not continue the conversation. She wondered, for a moment, if things could have been different, if she had done something differently then. But they both knew very well that there was no point to such contemplations. At this point of no return, when nothing could possibly change, there was only one thing that the child could do. Hmm. I'm just taking care of an unfinished housekeeping chore. To hunt the wolf that bears its teeth of the one who raised him. Yeah. Very funny. That's for sure. And I need to get, yeah, a little more thread. Should just be able to do a little bit of just... That'll be good enough. We already got Ishmael up type 4, and Ishmael probably won't get anything too soon, right? Wrong button, once again, up you again, though. Because we need we love that up tie 4, don't we? Okay, so BM. Turn and reduce the count by one. So it goes down by one each turn, so it's inflicting two. This, So yeah, it makes sense. Speed is better than class level one for every two speed difference, max three. Okay, three clash power if you have, you know, six higher speed. It can happen. And it's a four point skill gain on two coins, so that's pretty solid for skill one. Very solid, in fact. Skill two receiving art seven capture for six slash. Capture is one for every two speed difference, max three, so plus three slash power at six speed difference. Consume six poise count on itself to gain two attack weight for this skill. It doesn't give you any uh, poise count, though. And on Crater Flick BM, on Hidden Flick 2 BM. Okay. Does there skill 3 give her poise count? It does. It gives her a lot of poise count. Ooh. I see. And yeah, so it becomes a three target if you consume six poise count. So you're going to want to make sure you've got a bunch of her skill 3 to get her poise count up in order to be able to safely spend it, right? The yeah, Eclectic one to target BM. Pretty minor effect, but I think this is the one that really, or the passive is what really matters for BM, right? Um, but yeah, gain six poise count, five poise potency, it's like fine, staggers by 30% of damage dealt. On crit, it's like one BM. Stagger deal more damage. On critical hit, it's like BM. Reuse skill on a Rantar with BM on kill. This is funny, it's like a mutilate type effect. It needs to be on kill with the second point, so you can't do it on enemies that are too low. And it activates when it only works if someone else has BM, and of course it can't be used multiple times. So if you, like, say, turn one, uh... Because if you turn one, do something like this, get some BM off, then turn two, kill someone with this, for example. Not that that's too likely, I guess. I don't know. On a baby game, plus one poise gun five times per turn. Not bad. I mean, when you get seven poise from your skill, th poise gun from your skill three, maybe it's not the best thing, especially when it's only a two coin, but still. Hit with BM, gain poise count, and gain haste next turn. On crit, eliminate BM, and gain 2 times more damage for every 1 speed difference. Yeah, that's the thing that spends BM, which can be a little rough, but... It's gonna be interesting to manage this, I think. I'm very excited. 3 to 8 speed, pretty good, especially since you gain... Actually, you don't gain haste, do you? Unless you get it with, uh, this. Which is a max of 3 per turn, and needs to be against targets with BM. 
Which isn't going to happen too often. There's also combat start. Any of you don't have poise, it'll still spend the poise count, won't it? I guess, I don't know. Well, very cool looking ideas. I've got an idea of what team to build, but give me a second to build the team, and then we will hop into Mirrodon 3 hard and try and make most of these new units, shall we? Before we get into the actual Mirrodon itself, I wanted to test something that I had uh, heard about real quick. Uh, I'll just do this. Apparently, um, there's unique interactions with Nelly for using the Rio ID. SAT, your failure, Chief Butler. That's rude. I don't think it did anything beyond that, though. Uh, I can't tell. Maybe if I went through the fight, but that's funny regardless. Now to the actual mirror dungeon. Okay. With that out of the way, now we can get to the actual team itself. Um, So I'm running Poise primarily, since that's, you know, the only status effect that Ryoshu has. I'm going to focus on that. So uh, I've got the stuff with the fusion gift, I've got pen and nostalgia, I've got, you know, full Wish of Stars stuff. Because that's always funny. And as for the actual team itself, the plan is probably... Okay, you two are the new ones, so that's, you know, an obvious one. Um, and then some potentially odd choices. But I've kind of got some theory behind mine. Because we got all the- we got, you know, five poise units through these guys. You, you're only sinking, but you'll still be nice for, you know, sinking stuff. But everyone here can be beneficial for sinking, mostly. Because you've got Rhyme Shank, you've got Bygone Days. So if nothing else, you guys can contribute to the sinking if we feel like going for a sinking in a certain fight. And you're just here to be, like, poise support, right? Because that's always funny for poise teams. We'll see how well it goes, right? The team I was- Okay, I, I've decided to cook up, right? See how well works. But yeah, now we can actually look at these units. I thought them briefly because I checked out the Nelly interaction, but, um... Yeah, very silly looking. Still super weird to see an ID with a different hairstyle and just throwing me off. And that's like the one thing that's been fairly consistent up to this point. With, you know, some minor, you know, unique hairstyles like, you know, Grip Faust or... Like, wash mail, I guess, with, like, color and stuff. Like, kind of like, but that's kind of freaks the different colors. I don't know. Anyway, it's time to get into the actual fight itself. What is the plan? Um, English. Let's see, so what is your game plan? What's the best thing to go with first? Probably skill threes so you can gain the poise count. Yeah, that's going to be the main thing. We're definitely going to want to get you more skill threes, if possible. Because that could be very good for us. Nice crit. You do run out of poise. Uh, unfortunate, but that's fine. Very odd that, you know, the mop is a slash attack, but I guess it's fine. Cool. She pulls out a little case there. You know, her dimensional briefcase or whatever it was she was calling it, right? In the Uptide story. We got some of these this turn. We could go for the mass attack, but the bit. You'll run out of poise if we do that, but that's fine. Yeah, look we'll at that. Might as well, right? We'll get your more skill threes at the shops if possible, right? I'm curious. Is it the kind of thing where, yeah, it only becomes a. It only gains attack weight if you have this the, uh, poise to spend. But I wonder, will it spend poise if you don't have enough? Will it just spend all your poison and do nothing? Or will it just keep your poise intact? That's what I'm curious about. So you'll have like a little bit of poise. Oh no, you've actually got enough poise anyways to turn it into magic. No, it's when turn start. Oh yeah, it's turn start, so I don't think it did trigger there. I forgot. It is uh, one of those like things where it spends the poise at turn count. Similar to how, you know... And then, like, I guess, Spice Bush Mass Attacks, or, uh, Regret Mass Attacks, right? Anything that spends something to turn normal skin into a Mass Attack seems to happen at the start of a turn. I guess the only exceptions being the, uh, other two examples of that. Oh, there we go. That's the head's animation. That's rough. Not doing the most damage. She's got two coins across the board, so... Not doing the most insane damage, but with a Mass Attack and... Oh, gosh. Skill 2 is so funny looking. 
Just jumping into the air. And then just throwing knives. As you do. It's accurate to what the actual enemies were doing to us, you know, in the in the canto. And there we go, cool. Those guys all died, and I, it felt like it took a while to kill them, but that's because it's K-Corp units and we need to build up sanity, so it happens. Last week fight here, though, that's good. We are mostly slashed, you know. Actually, do we even have... Your skill one is Pierce, and your skill one is Blunt. That's the only stuff we have that isn't slashed. Okay, good to know. Of course, Egos and stuff as well, but not really factoring those in, of course. We're mostly slashed, which is kind of intentional. There's something else I want to try synergizing with is Red Eyes. Inflict Bind, Inflict Plus Coin Drop, Inflict Slash Fragility, and it's kind of a haste speedy thing anyway, so it works well with you. All you can do is skill one this turn, that's fine. We can live with that, and we'll Nightmare Hunt with you, because why not? You guys are weak to Slash, we're going to be doing a lot of damage. I guess the one thing about this team is if we do want to go into Sinking, uh, we don't have either of the actual uh, Weather and Heights Butler IDs, so we can't get Echoes of the Manor going. Which would be nice to actually get the Sinking count uh, rolling a little bit easier. Especially for, like, Ismail's skill 3, as I mentioned earlier. It could work fairly well there, since it's a 3 coin that actually has Sinking in all 3 coins. Of course, it's good for stuff like Linton as well. It's just very solid in general, right? Okay, who on this team has Gloom? Of the non uh, Gregor people, of course. Because I know, I know Rodion does. I know that uh, Ishmael does. Because I'm thinking of Pendant Nostalgia. Who does that get hit? Those two do. And is it just those two? I immediately forgot my team. Yeah, it's just you two, so it's... Okay, my mouse stopped working. Cool, um... Yeah, so it's your skill 3, your skill 1, and technically your skill 2, but you don't have points, so you won't, be you won't be prioritized by a pendant. Oh, you! Funny to see you here. We can let you free. Get some envy shenanigans, and we can get our fusion gift now. Clover, ornamental horseshoe, and we get lucky pouch, so now we're gonna be... Golden. We can get this so crits do even more and give us two amounts of offense level up. And we can make it so two allies get benefits. So this will hit both. Um it'll hit both Ishmael and it will hit you. Cool. In case you're wondering why I'm running Kurokuma Rodion and I don't even have her I didn't even have tickets to get her level 40, so I just settled with 39. Um it's best, I don't use her often, and you know she is, you know, slack uh poista. And not Blade Lineage. I don't want to just run a bunch of Blade Lineage. I'm running two Blade Lineage IDs as it is. I don't want to run more. I am using uh, Blade Lineage Mercos for the support passive, though. To make us do more damage. With, uh, now with the most poise. Which is funny. I don't really focus on passives beyond that one, though. It was just there. We're still first floor, so we can just stick with whatever still pretty easily. You, do you have 50% crit chance and not get a crit in any of those three attacks, Ishmael? Because that's certainly an interesting choice. Or because Gregor doesn't have poise, he doesn't gain, you know, the power to Nightmare Hunt. Would've been funny. If, if anyone was going to be a sinking poise dude, I would have expected it to be him, right? Would have expected you to be like... I don't know, sinking lead maybe? I don't know. I really didn't expect you to be sinking too much. Because the thing is, a lot of people have been talking about how, like, oh, Season of Sinking, stuff like that. Which really doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to necessarily mean that every ID is sinking, right? Because, like, last season was a season of poise, and two of, like, the actual main seasonal IDs had no poise whatsoever, the middle IDs. I feel like Sinking was kind of just shoved kind of haphazardly onto, uh pretty good but lucky pouch is definitely a little strong like imagine if like mutilate was hit by lucky pouch and you can just kind of think why this skill is so funny you've got enough poise that you can mass attack assuming they live that long honestly which i don't know and they will i was saying that but they really were pretty much guaranteed to live that long pretty fine yeah mass attack time 
Because why not, right? You did that all on your own? Blimey. Okay, what do we want? Wound Clarid. Is a funny idea. I need to take less damage is rude. Unfortunately, we don't have defense power up, so all of these are going to be fairly rude. Golden Urn that's early is probably the best bet. Defense level plus four is annoying? It's technically... It's not really. It's technically worse than Wound Clarid at the baseline level, but though defense level is going to be so much higher than there's anyways, it probably doesn't matter. It's probably less than 10% damage. And, like, what do we have for Wrath? Because, like, obviously, we've got what? We've got Yi Song skill 2, and we've got uh, Ryoshu skill 3. We don't have enough Bleed to Warrant it, I'll just take Golden Urn. We would get another Yu if we went for Wound Clare, but it wouldn't make too big of a difference. Current gold now is probably Nebulizer, right? As always. From us Fortune, I mean, that's also just kind of like a pretty... I'm pressing the button, there we go. Pretty free choice. Yi Song skill change is cool. Not really what I'm looking for right now, though. I really want to focus on one of the proper things. There's Nebulizer, though. That's cool. Stone Tomb. Kind of overkill. I'll roll with it, though. I'm fine with overkill. And do we get lucky? Mercer skill change? No, that's fine. Really hoping to see Ryoshi. I would have loved to get more skill threes on her, but that's fine. In time. We'll probably roll her at least once, because if we get we get four shops in hard, right? Like, that's a lot of shops. Grab time. Your boy is going. Sure. Yeah, really not sure how to play Ishmael much at all. This can be one of those kinds of units, I suppose. Mm. Doesn't feel like there's much strategy. I mean, that's true for a lot of units. Like, not every unit needs to have, like, an intricate strategy as how to, like, play them best, right? Like, it's, it's kind of what I default to a lot of the times, because you think of stuff like insight units and, you know, stuff like pirate dragger. Units that have, like, a stat effect to manage, right? That's kind of what I'm used to. You could argue that you should manage the poise on Ishmael, but it doesn't seem like it's a very manageable poise without a gift, right? But I think she's gonna be one of those IDs that just does whatever. It's fine. Probably mostly gonna be focused on trying to see how much funny like synergy we can get going for Ryoshu. Prejudice, healing is nice. And we've got a lot of pride on our team because uh well poise. Right. Okay, robots. We do have a single blend tag in form of your skill one. Oh, uh, you don't have it this turn, so we can't uh, go for it for the bit, but that's fine. We'll live. Your skill three also just instantly kills them. Cool. <laughs> That also just straight up kills, although no one else has BM, so it doesn't get reused. Because it only BM only gets reused. It basically says it can't be reused first turn. Which is interesting because there's no way to get BM on someone first turn if you're using a skill three that turn, right? So it's definitely very interesting. We can get your mana stack off there. I don't think we really need it. I guess Nightmare Hunt isn't stupidly insane because you know it's not a poise ID. Mass attack will be good then. We can get both of these guys. We almost killed both of them right there, but that guy still stay alive, and Ryush can finish the job pretty easily. But a flawless butler you are. Very funny you say that to, you know, your mirror world self. Or is it your mirror world self? The mirror world's. If you say mirror world self, does it refer to, like, yourself? As a different identity, or if it's someone as an identity of you, then is that a mirror world self? I don't know. I think I'm looking at this too deeply. For something that really is just kind of a matter of semantics. I don't even know if it's comprehensible what I said. I know what I'm saying. It, it makes sense of the question to me, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if as 
this is freaking the case for me. It makes no sense whatsoever. You have no way to understand my thoughts, do you know? But we could actually... Would this work? Because we would get the six poison... I gotta test this. Does this combat start trigger before or after Nebulizer? That is a interesting question, that's for sure. We'll see. Couldn't tell for sure there. We'll see if she has any poise, right? That'll be the kind of determining factor. See if she ran out of poise. I guess if she uses the mouse deck, it's also going to be a pretty easy way to tell. But the poise is also just super easy to tell. So it definitely could make a difference. Okay, it seems like maybe it triggers after the mass attack deck. Good to know. They're both on, you know, turn start, so. They're both on combat start, so. Hard to say. You've definitely got enough ways to mass attack here, though, so that's cool. Not that we really need to mass attack. We're, I mean, we're doing a poise run, and we're, you know, early on. Of course, we're just killing everything brutally. It's kind of par for the course for poise runs, right? Because poise stuff is stupidly powerful. Especially when you're, you know, running full Wish of Stars, getting through Mirror Calm Water plus plus in the first floor. Alongside re-rolling for Eo Gifts until you start with the stuff to get the fusion get first floor. Like, I perfectly will understand that part of the reason why this is so free for me is because I've got so much Starlight. Like, I've got max Starlight most of the time. I kind of, like, physically cannot spend, uh... I kind of physically cannot spend my, uh, poise fast enough. No, my Starlight fast enough, what I'm saying. I was thinking about poise because I was looking at a poise skill. Shh! It happened. I haven't even been caring about speed at all so far. This is a- I mean, Mirrodin 3 hard because of how I play it. Not a good chance to actually test new identities because I just get so many stupidly good ego gifts. Right? You're not any damage there, because why not? Everyone's got their nice poise. And now we can tell that we hate the city we live in. No proceed, skip. No proceed, skip. No skip, continue. And now we should be able to kill you pretty easily. Might just do it like this. You guys can kill that guy. I'm doubling up because I don't think it'll matter. All right. And you should double up and hit this guy too, right? Because you'll get the kill, you'll target someone else with BM. Assuming the first point doesn't immediately kill, which... I guess the first point might immediately kill, huh? It did, so you don't get to reuse it then, darn. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing too much damage, which is always a funny issue to have. Well, that's fine. You die here. We can't actually do it like that, but yeah. These guys have high speed. You've got 8 HP, though, so whatever you do, you will collapse the ground instantly. Yeah, cool. It was funny to give it an attempt, right? Maybe we hadn't, you know, caused it to get to have so much surgery already. Then we would have been fine, but that's a theoretical. Uh, what do we want here? Gossip BM? No. Might just take cigarette holder. It kind of, like, pays for itself, right? One power up, enemies get one flash power, so, and we'll always have poise. But at the beginning, two power up instead, which will be us most of the time, right? Yeah, that should work. We do get a rest stop here, though, which we definitely want to upgrade Nebulizer. We find an upgrade Stone Tomb, too. We might be able to if we get lucky. Cool. We'll take it. We need to upgrade again to get, you know, the 2x Poise Potency from skills, which, once again, super overkill. However, we also do not get another um, rest stop until right before the final boss. So, I had to do what I could with the cost I had. Let me you guys. You cannot clash anyone. That is unfortunate. Who are we not afraid of? I guess we're not afraid of you. Cool. That's who we'll ignore then. Make sure we go for two pride skills every turn. 
What is that? Is it one of you? Oh, it's you, Don. Yeah, make sure we trigger collective breathing every turn. Not because we actually care about the effects from this, although, you know, it is it is a pretty good passive. Um, Just get more poison out. I guess it doesn't help too either. But we want to do that so we can make sure we trigger nebulizer every time so we can get the poise even faster. Because, you know, our poise gain wasn't fast enough as is. And this guy's dead. Weak to gloom. The fool didn't even get the third coin off. Cool. And yeah, you don't you don't mass stack with this, but these guys are weak to pride and pierce anyways, so uh I guess it didn't kill there, but that's fine. That happens. Very well, another very strong attack. Yep. And then that attack does barely anything. Cool. Heal turn will kill that guy. Remai is this guy, scattering slash, receiving arts of the hunt. I'll probably be good. I guess we're probably doing more than a Dawn skill 2 in this thing, but it's weak to Envy, so I figured it probably just explodes, and it does. Good. I think it's Dawn is super good. I like her a lot. With being a more supportive, you know, being a supportive poise ID without your entire gimmick just being you kill everyone you touch. I'm, and by that, of course, I'm talking about, you know, Blade the Neo Demerso. Uh, cool. And Dawn can kill you here, too. It's funny how Dawn's being the fastest a lot of the time here. Like, I've been noticing that, but they messed up the- or they messed with the announcer boxes, right? Because they used to stay within their box a little better. They didn't go right as much before, right? Assuming I'm not going insane, but, uh, tough assumption to make. I've definitely been noticing- I don't think I've called it a- yeah, it definitely wasn't this wide before, right? Like, it cut off, like, here or something, right? I think so. I don't know, once again, like, there's so much that I am frequently wrong about about that. Or so I feel like it. I feel like my insight's usually- my instinct is usually fairly good about that. Just simply because, uh, I play this game far too much. But a lot of the small diesels like that, I don't always notice, right? But something definitely feels super wrong about the announcers, and, and has, I just haven't called it out until now. I was kind of wondering, like, oh, it might just be a me thing, but I'm definitely, it's definitely not a me thing. Unless it is a me thing and I'm wrong, but... It's funny to not know. Mass attack time. Two HP on that guy, a little rude, but can get the kill, though. Cool. Victory. Big more Pekatula. More Pekatula, because that's more Ego Gifts, which means, uh, what do you guys do we even want at this point? Sinking stuff, I guess. Um, Endorphin Kit would be funny, but we really do not need Endorphin Kit. Okay, you can play someone here, that's good. Can you play someone here? You can. I don't know why I'm asking when you very obviously can, because you've actually got decent speed, and these guys don't have great speed. I guess it's just me, you know, having, you know, flashbacks, you know, no one being able to redirect anything that last fight, right? Because it happens sometimes. Also, we should probably be using Ishmael skill 2 a lot more, because it is our only source of gluttony. Um, is gluttony very important for us? Maybe. Do you need it for bygone days? You might need it for bygone days. I don't remember for sure, but I think it's, like, Gloom Gluttony. At least one of them is. Maybe not the Yi Sung one, which one I care about, but I do have both of them on the team, so... Good either way. We need Gluttony for, you know, some, like, stuff like Leg or Domain either way, which is always solid. Doesn't necessarily, you know, center with what we're going with, so... I'm not really caring about Leg or Domain in particular too much, but... Right. It's important to make sure we've got a favorite of stuff anyways. Let me check. Now, yours is Sloth and Gloom. Is yours Gluttony and Gloom? And yours is Bloth and Gloom. Okay, I'm just I'm just imagining things. It happens. A, a fair bit, really. Try that. We'll try that. Alright, you won't kill. You're weak. That'll work. This, I assume, just instantly kills with the second coin. Probably doesn't kill with the first coin, but it might. 
Yeah. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to reuse it because one of them did FBM, but. Oh well. Suffering from success, right? There's that enemy is still very dead, so that's fine. And both of you are going there, so you can make sure you get the kill. Nice. Good fight, good fight. Good fight, chaps. Jolly good. It is still super funny just seeing ID stuff in the loading screens. I'm very much not used to it. Oh, I'll take it out of the portrait, yeah. Flash encounter. Perfect. We can tear through whoever it is, especially because whenever you see something slashed, you know it's fairly weak. Yeah. Bong is. Not gonna stand much of a good chance against us, are you? Is there anything else that gives us poise on at the beginning of a round? I don't think there is. I feel like we've, we've got almost everything poise. And I don't think it's the only thing we're missing for poise, right? Probably. Right. Oh, we're missing. No, we're not. I also said we're missing Horseshoe, but, uh, Clueless. No, we are definitely not missing Horseshoe. Yeah, we can't master that turn one. If we had a way to get a little more poise on turn start... We could, though. Potentially get an immediate master deck, although we'd probably spend, you know, all of our poise doing so. But I'd be fine with that, because it'd be funny, right? Keep on tearing through him. Nice, the goal is gonna see. I really want to see if we can manage to, like one turn some bosses, right? But should be. I don't know, this team kind of better for two turning, right? Because of the stupid amount of offense level we get turn two when we create a bunch first turn. So I don't know how easy one turning some bosses are gonna be, but we're still gonna get a lot of damage off either way, right? Here's some resource gain, that's good. I was, you know, mentioning how it might be. Alright. Sure thing. It's dog time. Um, the dog should die fairly easily. Watch dog, yeah, we watch dog. It's right, because we can just all go for the body. You know, weak to pride is a, a little bit bad for a team like this, right? Actually, it's not. We don't have a single pride skill this turn. I thought it would be much worse than it is. That's fine. Well, clash we can. We should be able to clash a fair bit. You can clash there, nice. You can clash there, you can clash there. You can clash there, and then you can redirect you, yeah. Training techniques that. Buy next turn, slash fragility next turn. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's your passive take? You need to crit someone with slower speed than you. Well, you could do that, in which case you could get the two slash fragility. If you manage to get. Oh, yeah, you've also got a lot of crit already. Yeah, the... Hmm? I guess the passive didn't work. Is it because you... You crit too much that it... It doesn't work for the slash fragility. Wait. She did land a crit there, but she only did one slash fragility. Is it because that... It only... Does it only work on, like, three unique stat effects, not three coins, right? Is it because she buffed, like, the poison infliction, the blind infliction, or something instead? I don't think so. A little bit of damage there. Already almost broken the body. Cool. We'll be able to do a bunch more damage here when you spend the BM when you crit. Skill 1, so you know, nothing too special. But you still do a bunch of damage when you spend BM, right? So that's cool. Yeah, you can, we can tell we spent the BM on target because of the giant tax buff that showed up in the corner. You don't quite die this turn, that's fine. You die next turn then. And you're gonna try doing your like mass attacky thing. Why are you the fastest? Yeah, for like haste themed units, they're not very haste themed, it really feels like. That's at least the general vibe I've been getting so far, right? I guess you aren't stagger anymore, so I guess we're not gonna kill you instantly, but still basically instantly. Yeah, fairly well does the job. You are weak to slap, so it works. Good fight. It's time to see what we get here. We'll get tier 3 as gift, so could be a good time to get into orphan kit, or maybe something for thinking, or neither of the above. Um, I mean, we just take Bella Truth, right? Or do we just take, like, Lightning Rod, honestly? Base Fire Plus 1 is pretty minor. 
And we're already winning a lot of clashes. I'll roll with it. Why not? So we'll take Lithograph. A little bit of healing. It means enemies are going to be tanky here, but that's fine because we can still tear through them pretty easily. We kind of want the new tank here so we can actually like get some funny stuff going with like Ryoshi skill 3. Our mail up is funny. Hmm. Nah. Nah. It is funny, but I'd like to get Ryoshu. There we go, Ryoshu. Uh, what to sell here? We can sell Lightning Rod pretty freely. I'd say, and then get you another skill 3. There's so many. It took me a second. I was like, wait, is this a skill 1 to skill 2? Because I see receiving arts 1 to receiving arts 2. There's so many numbers there. It kind of blows up my brain. And you know, most of the time, blowing up your brain, not really a good thing, right? Kind of what they consider to be kind of a bad thing. As, 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 according to some people, uh, each their own, of course. Once again, not a moment to say each your own, but it's still funny. This probably kills instantly, but it doesn't trigger again because no one else has BM. It's unfortunate. 423 damage with, you know, a turn 1 skill 3. Cool. Like, that's without the 15 on the pole from getting a crit, right? So her having more of those is going to be really funny. Yeah, like, she's got another one this turn. It's in a different slot, but she still does have another one this turn. She might not have had it on him, not for the increase. And sure, these guys are going to be tanky, but that means we're going to win classes without needing to ego. I don't want to have to spam ego too much, that's the thing, right? If we need to use more normal skills as opposed to more egos to win clashes, that's a pretty big win, right? But this kills the second coin. Is there even anyone BM? No, didn't think so. I I could I could kinda tell. Because her mass attack killed everyone she went for, so there wouldn't really be anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Risky encounter of just Ganto one bugs is uh always funny. Illusory hunt, that's a damage up against Pekatula and you know boss encounters. Once again, that's funny. See what you can do here. Immediately you can go for one of these. Just kind of kill that guy, why not? Neutral there is a little iffy. But it should be fine, right? I think so. I'm willing to go for a neutral, right? That's the worst that can happen. Yeah, th this guy is weak to receiving our 7 capture, so it'll do good damage. Even if we get a tail in the first point, still stagger, so that's nice. And Gregor is doing a fine enough job, despite being like the only like normal person in this team. And by that I mean doesn't have poise, so therefore isn't being like stupidly buffed by like the amount of like like inhalers we're just kind of forcing into the center. I guess if I, I don't know if I've ever, you know, talked to, I probably have talked about this because it's a random thing I've noticed before. Uh, the nebulizer is very clearly not a nebulizer, it's an inhaler, which is like a different, like, medical apparatus. Calling an inhaler a medical apparatus really feels wrong, but I don't know what else to call it. Um, a different thing entirely. It is an inhaler, though. I am asthmatic, or at least I used to be before I grew out of it somehow, I think. I don't know. Well, that's not the one we want to do the funny on. We want to do the funny on you, maybe? Uh, you're not going to be able to reuse it anyways. I think I've kind of accepted that as fact. We can live with that. Because nebulizers are like those more like actual like medical looking things to help you breathe like with a mask and stuff, right? I think. That's what those are, and the image of Nebulizer is very clearly an inhaler. I don't know how much it matters, of course. Especially given how confusing the actual Nebulizer Abno is. Being like a person stuffed in like a rib cage with a skull attached, and that's all like the bones there are. I don't know, I don't even remember the name of this, that ad note. Seems interesting though, that's for sure. See in time. 
I say as I'm checking the name of it right now. Oh, there's Zippo Lighter. Cool. More resources is always good. Always appreciated. Ooh, we can pet the box. Mass Attack Gaming. And then we just go for a blunt normal fight. Cool. These, yeah, Sleeping Bag of Olden Days. That's the name of the Nebula Neutralizer Avno. And it looks very weird, that's for sure. I'm not sure you can go for that, why not? Good enough trigger, Nebulizer. Everyone's got, you know, their fair amount of poise. You resisted that and didn't even get sacked for the first point and still died. Nice. See it? Clear and cut. Also, just straight up killed that guy. That's cool. And then we could mass deck here. We'll go for it. I don't know if it'll be necessary too much. They probably all die here given how weak they are and the like, but it'll still be very funny to use, right? Very funny, that's for sure. So many knives, so little time. And Splash Encounter. Well, with Splash Encounter either way, we, but of course we go for the one with multiple paths afterwards. Yeah, there's not a lot I can say. Like, the new ideas seem cool. Well, the new Ryoshi seems cool. You seem fine. Like, I mean, I say that, but like, this is definitely like a pretty solid skill one. Yeah, speed pass and targets, it's a 13 roll on a skill one. Pretty good for a two star. Um, I don't know, she's just kind of underwhelming, I suppose. I kind of expected it, honestly. You know, from, you know, just the simple fact that she was a sinking poise unit, which historically very bad uh, combo of status effects because you are in the same ballpark as Mariachi Sinclair and no one else, right? Not exactly the kind of person you want to be uh, friends with, right? We could kill, we could do that there, but that would not help us at all. We wouldn't, we would kill, but we wouldn't be able to actually trigger, you know, the on kill effect because you're the person with Butler's Mark. Fine. I haven't actually hovered over Butler's Mark yet, have I? I should probably do that. No, I think I have. Is it cast though? That's what I want to know. Is there a cap to Butler's Mark? To be, um... I don't think there was. I think I hovered over earlier and there wasn't a cap. I don't know though. I kind of think it would, it would make sense if there was like a lowish cap, but at the same time, it might just stack to 99. Another thing that'd be funny to test out. I'm not using you, so I'm fine sacrificing you. Okay, you failed. That's alright. It's bull time. It's not fun. That's fine. Oh yeah, I'm unrelated. I've got a funny screenshot from earlier. So earlier today, I was kind of messing around with something, and it's a very stupid thing. I've got a screenshot of it. Uh, But you can see here, um, I was doing like the one stage in Hell's Chicken for the sake- I was curious, because I wanted to test this out. The one stage in Hell's Chicken where, uh, you can only bring Dawn and Heathcliff. I stalled for a bunch of time, got down to 12 slots, and, um, yeah, this was the- this was the result. I used 10 skill 2s in a single turn below half HP, and got 70 haste. Now, it could be more. That's the thing. If I was really being smart, it could have gone to 84, but I couldn't get enough skill 2s in a reasonable amount of time. And Dawn was going to die to counters if I didn't, you know, just send it. That's why she's so low HP, because their counters are super annoying. But yeah, uh, just a little test. I don't know if there's anyone that can get higher speed reasonably, or like actually manageably than she Dawn. Just because 7 speed per skill 2 is stupid. Hopeless, alright. That's a good start. I'll risk that, why not? Sure. Sure. I'm just doing all these and I'm thinking like, what's the worst that can happen, right? What's the worst that can happen? We can get an ADD in here because, you know, it clashes, it, you're weak to it, I guess. That's, what, that's the main reason. That's cool, I guess. 
do good damage. First Eagle we've had to use this run, I think. It'll do something, right? That's the important part. We don't really benefit from Shock Discharge at all, because we don't really benefit from Charge or Rupture much at all, because we don't have a lot of Gloom attack. Uh, nice. Gaming. Some risky stuff I'm going for here, but I kind of wanted to go for the Pride Res. In one point, at least. Yeah, you're fine. Good. And I am aware how risky it is something that would be because a single Tails would have meant, you know, Ryoshi or Rodion would have lost it all. But that's part of the fun. Dominating. Cool. Favored. Cool. Dominating. Cool. Neutral. Cool. And we'll go for this. We won't trigger Nebulas, or we really. You really don't need trigger nebulas more than a single time. Everyone's basically at max crit chance now, or at least close enough. Nebulas would kind of push us to be pretty much there. Actually pretty much there, instead of just basically pretty much there. Okay, cool. You got two tails. I guess your sandy was a little low from the ego, so I guess it happens, right? Well, you're giving charge to your allies with your ADD passive, so that's cool. Once again, doesn't really matter very much, but it's something. We're doing a lot of damage too, so that's nice. We'll just be able to stagger you this turn. Honestly, we can just attack you and stagger you here. Not really too much of a need to clash you at all, because we pretty much guarantee a stagger, right? And if we don't, like, then I'll just suffer the consequences of my actions, but what are the after that, right? Very low, we staggered you, yeah. Flash really this turn is nice. Flank to us does stupid amounts of damage because it is a very stupid skill 3. Yep, there we go. Because Yi Song's passive is very balanced when you can stack poise pretty freely in mirror dungeons. Okay, what do we want here? I like making them super tanky. That's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Why not? We can also get compass for sinking potential. Hmm? Hmm? First, we don't have a lot of single point stuff on this team, other than, like, egos, obviously. Uh, what do we want here? More Ryoshi skill changes would be funny. Kind of drawing a blank on what I'd actually want here, though. Well, there's a dwarven kit, you know, for the bet. Uh, what do we sell? Probably just this. Right. I mean, most of these are. Uh, we don't need prejudice. There we go. Because we needed more poise gain. Clearly, you know what? I I like I like playing. I like uh, pushing my luck. Let's go for a pierce risky encounter. You know, literally the worst idea of all time. Oh, we got this, though. <clears throat> We've actually got this. Really? Huh. I guess I shouldn't speak too soon, but, uh... This is the easiest to quad town fight I've ever had. Which is kind of scary, because it's actually going fine. I know I'm going to change this by saying it like this, but I can't help but say it, because even in super good runs, you kind of die. It's because I've gone so much into tank into making enemies tanky instead of just making them, you know, kill. Oh, there's my just dessert. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. You know, still, lethal grab is going to mean we should be able to get some decent thing off. But yeah, sky clear and cut, let's go again. Thanks to Commemorative Coin. That's cool. Good thing for Commemorative Coin. We'll be able to kill these guys without too much of a hassle. That's why I went for, you know, all of our weakest attacks for the most part. Nice. 
Okay, you recover from staggered, and you're mostly healed up already, thanks to, you know, lithograph just being super good. Okay, single struggling here. And of course, it's the guy with no poise. Dodge. It might work, it might not. I'm not that concerned. Oh, you actually lose those. Unfortunate. Unlucky tails, I suppose. It happens. From time to time, after all. You're actually out of tails there, too, but because of, uh... It being a skill 3, you were pretty fine. Hey, Mass Attack. Nice. You're trying to dodge. You do not have the chance to dodge, though. 52 HP for you. Yeah, uh... Once again, you're gonna need to dodge. You'll actually stagger this guy, though, so you're fine. You won't even need to actually dodge. We're not gonna get the second coin off there. We might get the second coin off with the other one, though? No. Yeah, no, unfortunate. Shh. I shouldn't be shocked, not at all. Oh, and Leap Bloomer's tattoo is very good. You're cool, too. Don't get me wrong. You're probably better, actually, yeah. Yeah, we'll roll with it. I guess I might hit Gregor, which, you know, isn't good. Button. Any of the talismans. We'll go for middle, why not? Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I chose it because it would go for Ryoshu. Because, you know, her skill one. But if it goes for Gregor, it's not great. If it goes for Rodion's not great. Probably, I mean, given how much pride stuff we have, which I guess isn't the most... I keep on thinking we've got, like, an insane, like, bucket of pride, but... We really don't. Dominating cool. Dominating cool. Dominating cool. Uh, you're gonna want to get attacked again, probably. A little scattering slash you. Who else do we think might not die? Probably bottom right's the least likely to die of these, uh, three. We'll double Saber Slash. We'll roll with it. You are on the brink of staggering, too, so we need to be very careful with Dawn a little bit so they shouldn't get staggered and brutally massacred by a strong attack. You still got the kill instantly there anyway, so you're pretty fine. That guy dies instantly. That guy doesn't die instantly. I should have seen that coming because it's her skill too, not the strongest. That's fine, we can kill him this turn. Go for a bunch of weak attacks. That should do the job. It might not. I probably should be doing more, honestly. The reason why I was doing it like that is because I wanted to get a bunch of people to get, um, to trigger Humor Calm Water this turn, to get a bunch of people with 15 attack level, offense level this turn. But even then, we didn't get on Ryoshi, which is unfortunate. Mm, do that, but redirect that there, redirect that there. That'll work. Cool. I'm run. You will get crits here. That's cool. You don't gain, you know, crit damage boost beyond, you know, we already have things to clear Miracle on Water, because you're not a crit unit, but you still do enough damage to kill, so. Yeah, Blink Thrust, because it is this is a very balanced skill 3. Like, honestly, Blink Thrust is probably stronger than Blade Lange Mercer's skill 3. Just because of how consistent it is, right? And how, like, how little you need to sacrifice for it. No, don't get me wrong, Blade Merceau is stronger overall, because if, when you factor in Blade Blade Merceau's skill 1 and skill 2, um, it's not really a contest, they're insane. You song skill 1 and skill 2 aren't anything too special, they're decent. I don't think special, though, but his skill 3 is so stupid. You know, sticky muck, why not? We don't have a lot of pierce. 
We've got we don't have a lot of gluttony either, so it really doesn't help us that much. But uh we'll roll with it. Get perversion, this will be something to sell in the couple of nodes, so that's cool. Contract, uh which is something to use to kill the boss first turn potentially, that's cool. And we take a slash fight and then we get to the final set of nodes, right? So we're looking swell. Yeah, we can just, uh, once again, we've had like such a little need for ego this run. Like we used the one, we used the one ADD, but that was it, right? Okay. And more of you guys, once again, shouldn't be big of a deal. We get a flank thrust. We love that flank thrust. You get that mass attack. We love that mass attack. And there we go. Cool. You're at the shop. Let's get not really much we're looking for. I'll get you another skill three though. Since you know we want to focus on you a little bit here too. A lot of stuff we can get away with selling here though. Golden urn. Tomorrow's fortune. Lithograph. Carmilla, Blue Zippo Lighter, um, Alphabet Bundle, this does like nothing for us. I'll probably roll with the rest of the stuff though, right? Could be cool. Even any Red Sand Glass Sipium. Ooh, Red Sand Glass Sipium. Really don't need, honestly. Eh, we don't really need anything. I'll upgrade everything we have to max, even though, you know, it doesn't really matter the most part. Get Stone Tomb plus plus, get Endorphin Kit plus plus, because why not? Because we can. Enough of a reason for me, right? Chrome Compass plus plus? Sure thing. Maybe we'll throw in, like, a Rhyme Jank or something, get some syncing going. You know what? Heal, heal everyone up? Sure thing. You know, uh... Use gifts? Probably not. Still through any cost to go. That's fine. Blunt Wrath? Is that my form of these? Is, or is it Clam? Is it Clam slash Wrath? It's my form of these. Okay, cool. Here's the secret. We do not care. It doesn't actually... Okay, that's fine. It might hit my form of these with a reuse. You know what? Let's just kill your allies. Yeah. Let's just kill all of your friends. I don't see how that could go wrong, like, whatsoever. We can just kill everyone you care about. That's so awesome. Yeah, roll with that. Why not? not doing the most damage this turn, but that's fine. Second turn is when we'll do a lot of damage. Rhyme Shank is going to be good, of course. This is going to be what he, Commander the Coin uses, which is why I was fine doing it when it wasn't actually hitting my form empties at all, because it's going to go again. And it'll probably hit my form empties then, right? Hi. Right. Ito's almost dead. Contract happened. Okay, it didn't look like my form empties got hit here. That's fine. That's okay. It means we can just kill these guys super easily. It's still cool. Ito's almost dead. Oh, we're not attacking Keto again this turn, are we? Huh. 
Fine. It happens. Yeah, saying it couldn't help us too much in you guys. You have... Do they have sanity? Wait, they don't, right? Oh, you just died. Nice. Love to see it. You also just die. So does everyone except for Guido die? Okay, Guido's fine. Fine, you're gonna keep on attacking us, but we do not care. Normally, I'd just go full in on uh my four empties. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. Yeah. Why not? Right? Like, what, like, what, what are you gonna do here if I just keep on attacking you? Most of your friends are already dead, like... We'll corrode Rhyme Shank for the bit. Yeah, why not? Oh, that's why not. Okay, we'll have you dodge then. Sure. Shh! I figured out why not. Sound good, Spudamurti? You've got a bunch of protection, but we do not care. You get dodged. And there's the stagger, which is like the big threshold. Roading this. We get more sinking going for the bit. And we're getting hit a little bit from that. Which is fine, I expected it to be a real possibility. I think Guido dies from this though, so that's cool. So we killed all of my friend's allies, you know, incidentally. Oh, Don also just straight up died, that's cool. And you're fully corroded, that's cool. Fine, it happens. Alright, oh, target team is the most HP, huh? Well, at least that's not going for you. Oh, it's probably Ego with one of you guys though, huh? Probably just sun shower that simply because uh Sun shower that so you get a little, little bit of protection with that. And also so that this goes twice so that your rhyme shake doesn't go twice and then potentially kill us. Nice. Love hunting those nightmares. Tails is unfortunate. I was hoping for the heads so you know we could get a heads to head. Yeah, we stack 6 protection this turn and next turn by doubling up on Sun Shower, so Rhyme Shank's really not going to do much damage to us. Oh. Uh, bad news, guys. Well, good news, Ryochu is still alive. That's pretty cool. He's the only one we really need, right? Oh, he's still alive too. He's gonna corrode though. <laughs> Did he find these Hulu to break the deceitful statue? I don't think anyone, being honest. Yeah. Okay, and you're just doing that. Cool. Um, I may have made a. Very crucial flaw in my judgment. Okay, let's see if you can redirect one of those, though. You can redirect that, that's something. Everyone gets hit, of course. Danger and karma on target. That is rude. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I may have thrown! The Rhyme Shank on the Poise team was probably not the best move, because we really didn't need it in the first place, right? That might, that, that might be, you know, a logical conclusion to come to. But we get to use this twice, so that's fine. Solid damage, right? Yeah, so Sancho didn't get to go twice. Yi Song is being attacked, so he probably, I mean, he probably kills, right? Oh yeah, that's a 46 roll. That is a 46 roll on Sun Shower. <laughs> a 46 roll on Corroded Yisak Sun Shower. There we go! Clean victory! I don't, I don't think you could ask for a much cleaner victory than that. Um...
And I don't think you guys for a better demonstration as how good Chef or not Chef Ryoshi got. Brother Ryoshi has been watching it as their entire team gets brutally murdered. Oh, you took the zero damage this fight though, that's cool. For this run though, that's cool. Because you flashed super well. With skill three and stuff. But yeah, there we go. We get our rewards. We cleared that out. And look at this. We get a water pass level, just increase a bunch. Not quite 200, but close enough. Once I collect some of my weekly rewards, we might actually get to 200 from that. Yeah, probably should. I think I've got a couple of weekly rewards. To play, most likely. Because the one for rendering Mirror Dungeon, maybe another one. Yeah. Cool, past level 200. Let's go, that's a bunch of boxes. Uh... What is this saying? Staggered. So what's it changing? When hit by attack the church members, raise stack threshold by the effects potency. So it just added the normal tremor stuff. What? But F tied four had no affinity. Lantern Don Quixote incorrect trick. How did these two issues arise? A genuinely what? Captain Ishmael and Lantern. Okay. I don't know, I think I think that was been that's been there for a while. I just don't think I noticed that. Yeah. We're looking good on boxes. We spent a fair bit today just on the new IDs in general, so it happens. But yeah, Brother Ryoshu seems pretty good. Uh tune in tomorrow for me to actually use her in a proper run. Here in three normal, where we can actually see how she works and get a better sense as to that. But uh for now, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.